Welcome to part 10.6, Circles and Arcs, Mr. Pi 4. No, seriously, this is Mr. Pi, and we're going to be taking a look at Prentice Hall Geometry, section 10.6, Circles and Arcs, part 4. In this lesson, we're going to be focusing on the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle, the number Mr. Pi or Pi, this Greek symbol right here is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to its diameter. Uh, it's a ratio. Uh, it's not a rational number. Uh, since pi is an irrational number, we can't write it as a terminating or a repeating decimal. Uh, pi is the most exact way to express that number. Pi is a number which we approximate as 3.14 or 22 over 7. You, if your calculator has a pi key, you can use that. Some calculators will express the answers in pi. Uh, just a reminder here, the circumference of a circle in, is ti pi times the diameter. So the most commonly used formula for the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. But since two radiuses is equal to, or two radii is equal to one diameter, we could also use this formula, c is equal to two times pi times r, or the circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. Circles that lie in the same plane have the same center are concentric circles. The idea of concentric circles is important in this next example. Example 4T, a circular swimming pool with a 16-foot diameter will be enclosed in a circular fence 4 foot from the pool. What is the fencing material? What length of fencing material is needed? Round your answer to the next whole number. These words right here, next whole number, will be important when it comes to our answer. And that's not asking us to round, it's asking us to take it up to the next whole number. So to do this, we're going to be using the formula for the circumference. The circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. Key thing is, we need to figure out the diameter. Common mistake is for kids to say that the diameter is 20, that'd be 16 plus 4, but the diameter in reality is 4 plus 16 plus 4. You've got to account for the 4 on both sides. So the diameter is really 24 feet. So when we apply that to the formula, that'd be pi times 24 feet, we could rewrite that in terms of pi as 24 pi feet, and that would give us the decimal approximate of 75.4. That would be feet. Now the next whole number would be 76. So you'd order 76 feet of fence. Certainly want to order wouldn't want to order only 75 because that wouldn't be enough fence to go around. You would need 76 feet of fence, so. The correct answer here would be 76 feet of fence to go around the pole with a four-foot cushion between the pole and the fence. This has been Mr. Pi, working with the circumference formula for a circle. 